Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Katie and welcome to A Bookish Adventure. So today we are talking my 2020 TBR. So last year I had already decided books that I was going to read. That was going to be finishing off wherever I left off with Throne of Glass. So right now that is Tower of Dawn and then Kingdom of Ashes. For October month I would be reading the second Shining book by Stephen King, Doctor Sleep, because actually I did enjoy it and Sam really wants me to read it. And lastly I was definitely going to read Tales of Earthsea which Craig let me borrow last Easter. Oops. And also my friend Trish also lent me a book Delirium which still haven't read again last year. So those are the books I definitely knew I was going to read. For the rest of my picks we need a little help and that help comes in the form of Gavin. I have decided I'm going to let my boyfriend pick the books I read for this year and now I've said that out loud and I'm filming it. Really regret that decision. I don't want to let go of control and it's weird and I don't like not being able to pick what I'm gonna read. So yeah, let's do this. And as if by magic, here is the main man himself. Hello. Are you ready to do this? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> It's a big responsibility I'm handing to you. Oh no, it feels like it. So, I made things really easy for you. Mm -hmm. On my Goodreads account, you have my book list and how I sort things like read, currently re reading, blah, blah, yeah. blah. So, the two you really need to pay attention to, to be honest, will be planning to read, which are all the books I own, but obviously haven't read, so what you got me for Christmas and birthday mm -hmm. and everything else I've hoarded. And then TBR pile, that is books that I obviously want to read, want to add to the collection that is ever growing. So, which is pretty much anything you'd find on my Amazon wish list, basically. Okay. So yeah, just like mm. pick from them. The other one is to investigate further, but their books I'm not really sure about, to be honest. That is kind of, yeah, it, at least pick for at least five books, <laughs> like a minimum of five, possibly 10. But, possibly 10. Well, possibly. We're gonna see how we possibly go. Possibly five. And also it depends, you know, if you pick any of that standalones, if you only pick any series. So I might need to come back some point during the year and be like, pick some standalones. So I will give you some time to peruse and then yeah, you can you can tell me. I'm so scared. And we're back. And I'm scared. Okay, yeah, just go for it. Okay, first book. Um, firstly, partly because I really like the cover. Okay. But also, I've been a bit curious about Terry Pratchett stuff as well, <gasps> so I've gone for Mort. Oh my god! I'm really excited about that. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, so it's about the Grim. It's about the Grim Reaper is, yeah. not no longer being in his work profession wise. Yeah. Which sounded really cool. It's a very really interesting take on what could happen. I'm really, really into now doing this. I just suddenly had a moment where I was like, you know what, I really want to try and do Terry Pratchett. Mostly because I saw the covers in Waterstones of these new hardbacks and I was like, wow, those are pretty. I also went for Japanese Tales, just so then <laughs> Craig would know you read it. <laughs> Two books that I'm reading by Craig. <laughs> Another one that stood out was Clockwork Angel. It says Shadowhunters. Is that to do with the Netflix Shadowhunter? It is. Okay, this could be difficult because I'm actually in the middle of reading the first series. And when I say in the middle, I've read one book. So oh, I could put a maybe. Maybe I'll do that as I'll continue the other series first. Um, also Krampus. Oh God, that horrifying book. Again, I really like the artwork, but it's terrifying. It's, it's like a horrific Christmas. I know what it take. is. Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> Well, there's many different takes on Krampus, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, this is the one Alice got me, which I'm, um, which would have been a Christmas read regardless. God, apparently each Christmas has been dominated by Alice. What else you got for me? Can I just say I'm really impressed? I thought you were just going to look at some covers and go, there you go, they look nice. Or just the first five that are on the list in alphabetical <laughs> order, and all begin with A. Or I thought you'd be like, that's a nice cover, pick that. You've actually like really gone into this. The, um, the woodcutter sounds kind of interesting. Oh my God, that's been on my list for years. When did I add that on Goodreads? No. Oh, that was last updated, 2019. So it's, it's not even uh, not even half a year. I'm really proud of you. That's a standard. <laughs> no, this I think it was last updated last year. But uh, I added that so second. many years. Oh. I think. Oh no, it published in 2012. But. I think because I wasn't sure if there was going to be a series or not. Well done, you picked standalone. What else you got for me? Okay, that was accidental. Then. <laughs> so I nearly said Dorian Gray, but that's because I okay. couldn't find any others, and I know that one. But then I was like, meh. I don't know okay. if I want to suggest that or not. I noticed a theme of a lot of these books. Oh god, what's the theme have you noticed? Princesses, forests and magic. Okay, princesses and forests is only a small minority. Magic is, yeah. Or they're like fairy tale detective series. 
Huh? No, because all of them are like... What um, fairy tale detective series? I'm literally just the woodcutter. It's about a, magi a woodcutter in a magical That's kingdom. That's uh, Trying to discover the death of a woman. I don't know what to tell you. I like a fairy tale retelling. Um, that Shadowhunters was a missing girl. That's not a fairy tale though. That's not a princess. It's, a, it's, it's not a princess. It's got, no, it's got vampires and monsters in it. It's not That's a princess. fairy tale. It, it, and you got, a, you know, there's a book here. Darker Shade of Magic. The Magicians. The White Witch. <laughs> Cinderella as a prince. <laughs> yeah, I could go on. Be please don't. Please that. just pick no. the books. So Pan's Labyrinth. Oh. Okay. No. Yeah. I like that. Yay. Yeah. You have to buy it from my birthday, but yeah. Um, I I read about this, but I can't remember what it was. The way past winter. It's oh, is that by Karen? Yes. I think her brother gets stolen by some soldiers or something. I've read the other book, The Girl of Ink and Stars, and I loved that book so much. Yay, more standalone. In the night wood. There's a lot of foresty theme. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Forest covers right now are a thing. Oh yes, yep, okay, I'm loving this. I can't actually remember what it's about. No, no, it's a screenshot. I am down for this. You pick some really good ones. Wait, it's more More is the first of four of the Death series. So oh. it's it's number four in the disc world like Hang on, I may have got a bit mixed up here. No, you're fine. Well you can read that, but I think I was thinking of Reaper Man. That's what I was on about about the Grim Reaper. Yeah, the yeah, it's part of the same coll collection. Okay, so that So how it works, Terry Pratchett has the Disc World like series, but within the Series, there are sub series. You can read series on their own. So you can read the Death Collection as a four on their own. So I picked those four and I picked The Witches as a four, but there are lots of other worlds. So you can okay. either read them chronologically that they were published or you can read just the series on their own. Yeah. So yeah, no, those two books are part of the same Death Collection. Yeah. You're all good. I'm you all picked good. two very beautiful looking books. You're all good. <laughs> oh, beautiful. I like it. Well done. I'm. I'm I'm now suddenly like not worried and not scared anymore. I'm now like, oh my god, yeah, really good books. Yay, points for you. That made me mac and cheese. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, show me a thumbs and smash that like button. If you are new, then hello, welcome. I hope you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button and never miss a video. Comment down below with the books you were going to be reading for 2020 and what you think of my weird and stupid decision. I'll see you next time for a reading vlog. Bye. <laughs>